Hey, welcome to this video. My name is Eric, and in this video, I show you how to import or install Process Expert into the MC Expresso ID from NXP. So, what we need for this is basically the Eclipse plugins to be installed into the NXP MC Expresso ID, and we'll find them under the, the software development software, Process Expert software, under the NXP site. Uh, there are two links in there there is the component development environment where you can create and build your own component. We are not inter interested in that part. What you want to do use is basically the Process Expert software, the microcontroller driver suite. That was a standalone product, but it includes plugins as well to be installed into any Eclipse versions. So from this page, there is a downloads link. And what we are looking for is basically this uh, PEX Process Expert for Kinetis 3.0 plugin for Eclipse 4.4 or later and the latest updates that this 3.021 which includes as well an update 3.01 so we are going to download both of them i have to accept of course i have to read the license agreement download that file and go back to the page and download the update so these are basically zip files we'll see when the download is finished so it it's downloading the files. We will have to extract them and then install them into the MC Express ID. So download has been finished. I'm having the files downloaded up here. And the first important step is to unzip them, unpack them. So I'm unpacking them just in the, in the folder up here. The same for this zip file. both uncompressed and we are going to use basically the first in the first step this first zip files into eclipse so for this we need to start the mc express id so for this i start the id it takes a few seconds So in this video, I'm using the 11.5.1, but basically the 11.5.0 would be the same experience. So the first thing I have to do is to uninstall some components or Eclipse plugins because they conflict with the Processor Expert plugins. Uh, NXP has added new configuration tools, and it seems that at least in this version and in some other versions, some configuration tool plugins kind of interfere with them. So we have to uninstall them. We can do that through the help menu. There is the install new software and there is a button basically to, to show what is already installed. And from here I can uninstall this ID configuration tool integration. So in, in this setup, I'm not going to use the, uh, say the pre-supplied configuration tools because they interfere with process expert. It's very easy to make a copy of the installation or make two installations, one with process expert and one with the configuration tools integrated. Earlier versions of the ID didn't have that conflict somehow, but this version does have it. So I'm going to uninstall that, pressing the uninstall button, and it takes uh, some time to uninstall that. I'm going through this dialog and at the end it will ask me to restart the ID. So here we go. Restarting the ID. And after that, I'm going to install what I've downloaded here earlier from the web page, from the NXP website. And the first thing I'm going to install is this 3.00 install thing. So important to unzip it really unzip it, not go dive into the directory or the zip file. You have to unzip it. And then there is an installation guide as well. But we have to install first this Freescale updater, followed by this Kinetis 3.0 zip file. Both are basically Eclipse plugins or installer plugin setup files, and we can easily just add them to the ID. So I'm starting the ID again. It's restarting right now.
In any case, I recommend that you start with a fresh new uh, workspace. So I just uh, specify here a new one, an empty one, because if you opened up the workspace with the config tools installed, it might have some references to some uh, views and files. So it's, it's really a good idea to have a, a new workspace. And I usually call it just the, the PEX workspace. Work, PEX workspace. So I know it's basically a workspace with process expert projects in it. But of course, you can have non-process expert work projects in there as well, as a normal uh, NXP SDK projects. But because we uninstalled the configuration tools, you, you won't be able to use the config tools for such projects. But again, as said, you can use basically them side by side. So we do have now here Eclipse open again. So the next thing is really that we install this Freescale updater into it. And for this, again, we need to have the files unzipped. Installing is through the, the help window, no, help install new software. And a really easy way is just to drag and drop the zip file here into this dialog. That's what I'm doing here. It automatically fills that. It shows that this is the, the desired update. I usually disable this contact all update sites because it, then it, in the process of installation, it contacts all known update sites and that slows down the process a little bit. So I'm going through here for the next. It calculates the requirements and dependencies. And now I'm pretty much ready. I have to accept the license agreement, which of course I've read in all details. Uh, that's a little bit tricky here. This dialogue comes up with, about the certificates, accepting it and installing it. This takes a few seconds and again, restarting the ID as requested. So here we have relaunched, restarted the ID and we do the same thing now for the second package for uh, we have installed the updater. Now we'll help install new software. Doing the same kind of thing for Kinetis processor expert for Kinetis. Disable this one again. And get it installed. Pressing next, accepting the agreement. And then again, it takes a few seconds to install all the plugins. Accepting again the certificate. So that may might take a while, several minutes, but at the end there is this restart now button or request what I'm doing here. So I'm restarting the ID. It again takes a few minutes because a lot of new plugins have been installed. They need to be registered rather during the start of the ID. And then we should have basically the prompt for the new workspace. So here we go. ID has been restarted. Now the next step is to install the update, the 3.21. So again, make sure that the files are unzipped. So I'm going into the unzipped directory and install the files as before, install new software and selecting the zip file, putting it in, in here, uh, disable this one, and let it install. Accepting the license. This should now go much quicker than the 3.00 installation because less files are involved. This is just an update. I could run it in background, but I just let it show up to the completion. Again, a certificate to accept. And 
and at the end we are asked to restart the ID again the last time. So with this we have all the necessary plugins installed and from here you basically just can use it like in, in the Kinetis Design Studio with Processor Expert uh, you create new projects you won't have all say that the full support like for SDK create a project with Process Expert so you either do that say in the in the previous ID in the Kinetis Design Studio or simply import existing projects you have created in there so that's what I'm going to do here as well As you see here, I have actually have several SDKs installed, so it's in, it's possible to, to reuse the SDKs, but you won't have basically the, the configuration tools installed because I removed them here. From here, you always can say show views, process experts, it already shows the process expert view, and then it opens the associated views, but because I don't have a project in there, they don't show much useful content yet. So to import an existing project, I have quite a few available on GitHub as well, uh, on the MCN, MCN and Clips GitHub site, and there are some examples for different IDs, including the MC Expresso one, and for the Freedom K22F, I have here a process expert example. So you can clone that Git repository and install it on your local uh, hard disk or disk and then import it into the ID here. So that's what I'm going to do in the next step. To import the project, I'm going to use the file import action with general existing projects in the workspace and going here to my example folder of my GitHub repository. I Yeah, let, let's include just all the, the project in here. So I'm ref, uh, linking to the files and importing them. So this is a mixture of, say, normal SDK projects plus this one is a special process expert one. I let it import them. And the one I'm interested in is this process expert one. So I'm making that a little bit bigger. So as you see here, this is this process expert.p file in there. And if I select it, then it shows up all the different components. It takes a little bit longer the first time I open the project because it's refreshing all the internal files. So the next time it's, it's much faster. So I have all these LEDs for these projects in there. I can go up to the properties, select that. And there's only a few issues in here, like these icons are not shown properly in the latest Eclipse version, but it's mostly cosmetic. Usually I'm just changing the setting to advanced and I don't really like this kind of view that's now configurable in the preferences. There is a setting for process expert where you can configure all the settings and usually I'm not liking this tabs view, I'm going to the classic view and the properties are basically on advanced levels. I can set it once and then next time I restart the ID, it's set to the proper level here. I can switch that here as well, going well, disabling the tabs view and have them much more condensed and I think more user-friendly, say, textual representation here. So I can now use this uh, component inspector to change the properties of all the different components, what I want to do with them, like for the LED pins, I can configure the behavior of the LED pins and changing the pins assignment and all these kind of things. And it will do, it will do all the muxing for me in a graphical way. This actually, this project even has three RTOS integrated with all the API and the methods in there. I can use trace and, and everything else. Now with Process Expert, there is this uh, Generate Process Expert Code button I can press. Then it takes a few seconds to generate the code, which will end up in this Generated Code folder where all uh, the component source files will be placed into it. 
So it does that. The first time it always takes a little bit longer. And I can run that in the background as well if I like. After I've finished code generation, I ch just can uh, the build the project as usually, for example, with the hammer button. Uh, I still have an error, yeah, I missed to do a, a clean. Just doing that. And I can run that in the background, if I like. So finish building it, so now I can debug it. And after the build, I can debug the project. Here we have a J-Link. So this gives you an idea how to install Process Expert into the MC Expresso ID. I hope you enjoyed that video. Thanks for watching.